What's up design family and welcome back to another episode of Fit Design TV. So glad to have you back on the channel. On today's episode, we'll be looking at the key differences between a men's button up and a button down. These are going to be terms you've obviously come across if you're into formal or semi-formal apparel and these are definitely items that you will have worn at some point in your life. So what are the differences between both? Until today, you may have thought that the terms are interchangeable, or you may have not been aware of the specific terminologies for each type of shirt. Well, on today's quick episode, we'll be going through the differences, and if you don't want to spend the next five minutes with us, I'll give you the answer straight. A button down is exactly what a button up is, except it has two additional smaller buttons that you see at the tips of either side of the collar. This is intended to hold the collar down and prevent it from moving upwards. A button up is the same exact concept except without those two additional buttons. So that's it. But if you want to learn more about the history of each and which is the right type of shirt to wear in a specific scenario, stick around. We'll be going through that information as well. Hey guys, and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around, you're in for a good one. So you've probably heard of both the button up and the button down shirt on multiple occasions before and have probably paid it no mind as to whether or not a difference between both of these terms even existed. We've already mentioned the technical difference between each, um, that being the buttons at the ends of the collar of the button down, holding the collar down. But the history of both is where they get interesting. The button up has always existed and it's been a staple in men's formal attire for a long time. The button down is a natural evolution of that shirt and it gets its start in 1869 in England. So polo players would often wear button down shirts or button up shirts when they were charging down the field and because of the immense wind and the movement, they'd find that the collars of their button up shirts would often flap in the wind and would sometimes impair their vision. So they needed to come up with a solution for that. And the solution they came up with, as you can guess, is to add a single button onto the collars and that would hold the collar down, keeping that formal polo look and at the same time making sure that the product was functional for the game. So it was actually a man by the name of John E. Brooks that transitioned the button down shirt from a functional statement piece into a fashion statement piece. After watching a match in England, he actually took the idea and loved it so much that once he went back to the United States, he immediately started manufacturing the button down shirts and called them actually polo shirts. What we commonly think of as polo shirts today don't actually have these buttons that the button downs have and that name has definitely transitioned but it is a fun little way to see the lineage or the history of the button down shirt and how it's transitioned and moved over time. So where should you wear a button up versus a button down? Is there a specific protocol or a scenario to wear each? And this is a tough question to answer and it really comes down to a subjective opinion and I'll give you mine. I find that because of the button downs sporting lineage and the fact that you have these two additional buttons there that sort of break the lines of the shirt itself, I find that the button down is a little bit more casual and it's a little bit more sporty. Yes, you can definitely pair it into more formal occasions, but there's a limit. I definitely would not go full formal wearing a button down. I'll leave that at home and I would much rather pair a button down with a pair of chinos or a nice pair of fitted jeans. Uh, tuck them in with a nice belt. This is going to allow you to really make sure that your garment looks crisp and clean without the need for a blazer on top of your button up or button down to hold the collar in together. So one thing that you notice about button downs is you can wear them without blazers and they still look pretty good. With button ups, you really need to wear them as part of an ensemble. And these types of shirts tend to be a lot more minimalistic and simplistic they also tend to use much more traditional fabrics uh, than other types of button downs. And what you notice is a button up needs to be worn in a context with a suit. You need to have the right blazer to be paired with it. And yes, you can wear it with a spread collar for a more of a semi-formal look, but at the same time, you do need to have a blazer. 
With a button down, you have much more of a casual look and feel to it. This is my personal opinion, but of course, your specific style can vary and you need to make sure that you should look at the right contact sense scenario for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let us know what other types of simple questions you want answered in the future. I love doing videos like this where we sort of answer these questions that you might have never thought of or you might have never even thought existed. For example, the difference between a button up and a button down. Hopefully you guys have learned something here today and you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider smashing a thumbs up. It really does help us out, it brings more people to this channel and it lets us to keep creating what we love to create and to share the knowledge with you guys. Thank you guys once again so much for tuning into this episode of Fit Design TV. Until next week, stay awesome.